Hello, in this video, I'm going to explain anterior and posterior pelvic tilt. Um, so anterior pelvic tilt and posterior pelvic tilt are named for the direction that the ASIS is moving. So ASIS, meaning the anterior superior iliac spine, which is right here, it's that prominent bump right in the front of your hip. That's your ASIS. So if the pelvis is rotating in the backwards direction, posterior, then the ASIS is going to move up and back. Uh, if the pelvis is moving in the anterior direction, so anterior pelvic tilt, then the ASIS is going to move down and forward just a little bit. Um, so if we want to quantify anterior and posterior pelvic tilt, we can actually measure. Um, so here's the ASIS. Then on the posterior side, there's the PSIS, posterior superior iliac spine, right here in the back of the hip. Um, so if we measure the angle relative to the horizontal plane, if we measure the angle between the ASIS and PSIS, a healthy measurement would be 8 to 10 degrees difference, so relative to that horizontal line. Um, so if we have more than a 10 degree angle, that would mean that the ASIS is lower, so the pelvis has rotated forward, uh, that'd be anterior pelvic tilt. If that degree, if the measurement of that angle is less than eight degrees, then that means that the ASIS is higher, the pelvis has rotated posteriorly, and that would be posterior pelvic tilt. Okay, so eight to 10 degrees is the normal measurement for that angle between the PSIS and ASIS. So if that measurement is greater or less than that eight to 10 degree range, then we know that we have either anterior or posterior pelvic tilt. All right, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a great day.